Hey guys, TSL here back with a brand new video. In today's video, we will be making the strength and endurance tools work better. Um, we'll fix up the endurance tool because I know the multipliers weren't really working right. And we will make them work with that two times game pass we made in the last video and maybe even add some more game passes. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing I want you to do is go into workspace, find your main strength event, main endurance event, and just delete those. All right, cool, so now that we don't have those, now we don't have any working endurance or strength tools. So what we're going to do is go into our starter pack and we'll do our push-up tool first. So we'll click on our push-up tool and you should have this add endurance script, local script, and I want you to open that up. All right, so I want you to delete everything you had in the script already. And then the first thing we're gonna do is make a cooldown variable equal to false the player and add stat um this will be our add stat event that we have and a local get class molt is equal to game get service replicated storage remote that remote function site retrieve class mold you guys we we didn't make this yet but we will later so next we want to just do script parent dot activated colon connect function put in some variables that we need for our endurance um, multipliers and stuff like that then we want to add our cooldown um, and then finally call this add stat function that will actually add to our endurance and using all of our multipliers, just multiplying them together. Alright, so um, also this invokes the function, remote function. Basically what this function is going to do, the remote function, it's going to just get our current class multiplier since we need to do that on the server. Since we used a module script, we can't use it from a local script since it's in server storage. All right guys, so now, now that we have all of that, we're going to go into our strength script or our punch tool and our add strength local script and we're going to basically do the same thing so i'll show you guys that all right so once again delete everything that was there and put in our variables that we need make our activate functions for when we click with the tool um, make our variables for the multipliers and our cooldown and finally actually add to the strength you guys should get with the script of i mean i told you what it does these are just multiplier variables um, so yeah, uh, now we are going to make that remote function I was talking about. All right, so go out of here and go and replicate a storage, make a folder called remote functions, just like this. And in that folder, add a remote function. Uh, so like click on that folder, remote function, and call it retrieve class mult. Then in service script service, you're going to have a get class mult script and I'll show you what to put in it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to need in this script is obviously a reference to our remote function itself and then a function dot on server invoke. So what will happen when we invoke the function? Um, then the next thing we need is some variables for our player's current class and the multipliers for all the classes. So we got to require that module script uh, that I was talking about that we have in server storage. Next thing, we want to make a class mult variable, check if the class is F class or D class, and then just set the class mult variable equal to the multiplier of that class. Um, and then finally, we want to just return that class multiplier. Okay, so that is that part done. So then you want to go into starter GUI, uh, player stats, and open players, no, player stats frame, stat upgrade frame, upgrade endurance frame, confirm local script. And basically the only thing you need to do is change this from a two. This was a two before and just change that back to a four um, because it for sure some reason was on two. Alright, so now that that's out of the way, the last thing we need to do is go into our server script service, add stat script. So we need to go here in our add stat script and um, basically we just need to check if not stat match, if there's not the word multi in it, if, 
if there is the word multi in it, then we just want to set that to that. That's so that when we like buy a new multiplier, let's say we want we're buying a multiplier of two, it doesn't automatically give us the multiplier of four because we have the two times game pass because that's for stats, not multipliers. Because then it will do the, let's say we just bought a times two multiplier and then it actually became a times four multiplier because we had the two times game pass. And then on top of the times four, we get the times two on the stat. So yeah, that's not good. All right, so now we can play this. And if we go here, if I punch, you see we get two because we have the game pass. Buy it, we get we now get four because two times two is four. And then now we have a multiplier of four, so we get eight because two times four is eight. Same thing for the push up, we get two, four, and finally eight. Okay guys, so that is that part. So now we can actually move on to making um, the individual stack game passes. Since I did a community poll and you guys said that you wanted to have the for every stat individual and just one for every stat. So we are going to do that. So I'll be right back once I make all the logos for these things and it shouldn't take too long. All right, so here are the game passes. Um, they're all priced at five ninety nine, as you could see, and um, yeah, we'll probably we might change that later. We might leave it as it is. We'll do a community poll and see what you guys think. Uh, gotta make sure we give the game a like. You must visit. Okay, okay, whatever. Whatever. Um, we'll do the we'll program the two times strength. So let's do that first. Do it in this script. So let's just go grab the game pass ID once again. Uh, we'll just call it. Strength pass is equal to it's equal to that. Um, so then over here, what we can do is have an if statement here and check if stat is equal to strength and owns game pass player dot user id comma strength pass. Then what we will want to do is set val equal to val times two uh, times two and yeah so that that should that should work and yeah that's that's all we need so now let's jump into a game okay so if we go here and we take a punch we get four um, because we have two times two because we have the two times all stats and the two times for just strength. Then if we add a multiplier on top of that, so two times two times two, we should get eight, which you can see we do. Then if we have a four times multiplier, then we will have a two times two times four. So we get 16. All right, so that game pass is working. So um, that's actually all we have to do is just copy this variable that many times we'll do psp pass and end pass we'll come over to the page here get our psychic one and paste that here get the endurance and paste that here and then what we'll want to do is check what we can do is this Copy that and just pick, do or stat is equal to endurance and owns game pass end pass. Then or stat is equal to psychic and owns game pass PSP pass. And we could split this up onto multiple lines to see it. All right, so um. That should be it. So without any other multipliers, we should be getting four with strength, four for push-up, and uh, we're not getting four for PSP, and I know why. For this one, we have to go to our add psychic script, um, and uh, pretty much 
copy this. And we can um, paste that like that. Then value is, e uh, we could just do times equals two. Or is equal to value times two, which is the same thing, it just looks better. Um, and actually, we know that the stat is psychic, so we can delete this. And then for PSP pass, we could just copy that and paste this here. All right, so here we are. Uh, we get four psychic, four strength, four endurance with no multipliers. Then we get eight endurance, eight strength. An eight psychic with times two multiplier, and then we get sixteen psychic, sixteen endurance, and sixteen strength with times four multipliers. All right, um, so yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. That is how you make the game passes work. Um, the two times game passes for every stats. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like on the video and smash that subscribe button. Make sure that that subscribe button is great. Also, turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on the videos. Also, I hope you guys like the new style that was in the beginning of the video. Um, I think it will help like benefit both of us by making the videos, well, for you guys, shorter because there will be more content packed into one video um, and it won't take as long. So yeah, that's a good thing for you guys and we'll always be doing stuff. So hopefully it works out. Um, anyways, guys, please remember to leave a like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Bye.